Hey everybody and welcome to the Art Gallery of Algoma Summer Art Series. My name is Audrey and today I'll be showing you how to create a pop art inspired strawberry painting. So without further ado, let's get into it. The things you will need in order to create your painting will be a square canvas. The canvas that I'm using today is 12 by 12. A piece of paper to create a cutout for tracing. I'd recommend a thicker paper like cardstock since it's much easier to trace around. A pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, acrylic paint in all different colors, paint brushes, you can use a bigger brush to paint the background, a smaller brush to paint the strawberries, and a very fine brush to create details, a sharpie for outlining, q-tips for making dots in the background, a cup of water and a paper towel or napkin to clean off your brushes, and a paper plate or a pie tin for a paint palette. The first thing we're going to do is divide our square canvas into four equal sections. We'll do this by measuring with our ruler and drawing both a vertical line and a horizontal line at the midpoint. If you're using a 12 by 12 canvas, each box should be 6 by 6. Now we'll measure and draw out another 6 by 6 inch box on our cardstock paper and cut that out. Your square should fit perfectly within one of the boxes on your canvas. Now, draw the outline of a strawberry in the square we just cut out. When you're sketching it, try to make it fairly big within your box, leaving a little space around the edges, rather than drawing a tiny strawberry in the middle. Create a stem and a few leaves at the top. When you're finished, cut it out. This will serve as our tracer so that we can make all four strawberries in our painting the exact same shape. We'll set our strawberry aside for now and move on to painting the background. We'll begin by creating a resist with masking tape. This way we'll get a nice clean edge around each square. Grab enough tape to fit around the edge of your first box. Each time before you stick the tape to your canvas, I'd suggest sticking it to your clothing a few times and pulling it off to make it less sticky. This way it's less likely to damage our canvas when we pull it off later on. Line up your tape around the edge of the box in the top left corner and ensure that it's stuck to the sides of your canvas as well. Press it down really well so that it can't lift up for the paint to go underneath. Now we'll paint inside our first box. I chose to make mine blue, but you really have the freedom to use any colors you'd like with this piece. Be sure to paint around the edges of your canvas as well. This helps to make the painting look more finished, especially since you'll be able to see the sides of it if you hang it up on a wall. Let your first box dry and give it a couple coats if necessary. We'll now pull off our tape and mask around the edges of the second box. I chose to make this box pink, but again you can choose any color you'd like. Don't forget to paint the edges, and again, give your square a couple coats if the paint looks too transparent or patchy the first time. I decided to go over my pink with a darker and more opaque magenta color. Once your second box is dry, pull off the tape and section off your third box. Paint that in with a different color and let it dry. Finally, tape off your last box, paint it in, and let it dry fully before taking the tape off. Once you've painted all four squares, if you notice that there are any white areas, you can touch those up with a very small brush. When your paint is completely dry, place your strawberry cutout in the middle of your first box and position it how you want it to go. I decided to make mine a little bit slanted. Trace around your strawberry with a pencil. Move your stencil into the next square, try to position it the same as you did in the previous box, and trace around it. Continue moving and tracing your stencil until you've drawn a strawberry in all four boxes. Now we'll fill in each of our strawberries with white paint using a small brush. It's okay if your white layer isn't perfect, since this will just be a base coat so that our other colors will go over top nicely. When your white has dried, draw a few leaves over top of the white on each berry and try to make them look the same in each box. Now we'll begin painting our strawberries in all sorts of different bright colors. For each box, try to choose a color that contrasts the color of the background. For instance, if your background is a light color such as yellow, instead of painting the strawberry on top light orange, you may want to choose a darker color like red or blue to make it pop. I decided to paint this strawberry in my blue box orange. Use a small brush as you're painting so that you're able to paint in between each of the leaves. It might be helpful to trace around the berry first, and then to fill in the rest with a slightly larger brush. Continue painting each of your strawberries different colors, trying to create a contrast between your background and the berries each time. Paint on a few coats if necessary, making sure to let each one dry before layering over top. Now we'll use a small brush to fill in the stem and leaves of each strawberry. 
When choosing your colors, use one that has enough contrast that it stands out from both the berry and the background. Again, you might want to outline with your paint first and then fill it in to make painting a bit easier. Once the paint is dry, use a pencil to lightly draw on a bunch of tiny ovals for seeds. Try to make the placement of the seeds somewhat random and make some a little bit slanted. Using a tiny brush, fill in your seeds with white paint. When the paint is dry, we're going to use a Sharpie to outline our seeds in black. Sharpies are great for creating a thinner outline and having more control. After we've finished outlining the seeds, we'll outline our berries with black paint. You could use a Sharpie for this part as well, but I decided on a thin brush because I wanted the outline to be a bit thicker. Be sure to trace around the berries themselves, as well as the stem and leaves on each. You could leave the painting at this stage, but if you wanted to add a little something at the end, you can create white dots throughout your background using a Q-tip. This really gives the painting that classic pop art look. Try to stagger the dots with each new row that you paint on. Some of your dots can go right off the edges so that you only see half. Likewise, you might need to paint some peeking out from behind your strawberries with a small paintbrush. When you're finished painting on all of your white dots, use a small brush to do any final touch-ups such as fixing up the white or the outlines around your strawberries. And there we have it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and follow the Art Gallery Valgoma on social media if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching!